So Krishna, when he's coming home from grazing the cows, Madhya Shoda sees Krishna and he's covered with this beautiful chandan. Soft, like there's powdery chandan, right? Very soft, very soft. And Madhya Shoda takes the corner of her shawl. Bhakti Thakur describes this. And she takes a bit of dust from Krishna's face and she's weeping tears of joy. We see this beautiful painting, Prabhupada arranged, where Madhya Shoda is welcoming Krishna and Krishna's running. Nanda Baba is there, Sakas are there. Then Madhya Shoda performs Arati. So what is Arati? Arati in Vaidhi Marg, Arati Rag Marg, very different. Arati in Vaidhi Marg means how nice can I look and how many times and how loud and how nicely can I blow the conch shell, how nicely can I twirl the chamara. This is how good my Arati is. How nicely I can move my hand, right? And rules and regulation, every day I will do this. This is very good. But Madhya Shoda's Arati is very different. Oh, is there any scratch on Krishna's face? And any inauspiciousness, any pain, any trouble, any suffering, may this be removed. In this way, Madhya Shoda is doing Arati of Krishna. Then the elder gopis, they bathe Krishna, dress Krishna, and Krishna sits and takes his meal. This time. Then Sayam Kali Alila begins. Shri Radhika Sayam Kale Krishna Lagi Birachile. Shmati Radhika and Javad is feeling great separation. Oh. Why? A moment without Krishna's embrace, without meeting Krishna, feels like an age. Right? Yuga Itam Nime Shena Chakshusa Pravishayatam Shunyayatam Jagat Sarvam Govinda Virahename. Krishna himself is praying with this mood as Mahaprabhu. Why? Because he is absorbed, immersed in that mood of Shimati Radhika. So he's praying, oh, the age has passed since I've met with Krishna. Even though they were just together. And it's described that as Krishna is coming home, sometimes he will pass by Javat and Shimati Radhika can look through the window of her kitchen and see Krishna. And sometimes even Krishna will come and beg from her some sweet, some preparation. Sometimes he will dress as a sannyasi, even a brahmin, and hide himself and beg something from Shumati Radhika. And directly meeting Krishna, she will always have man. This is one of Shumati Radhika's mood. Directly even she's meeting, but she'll say, no, 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 get out. So Krishna, in Nanda Bhavan, takes his meal, and then after that, he is sitting with Nanda Baba and Jashoda, he hears Harikata every evening. So we think Harikata is only for us. No, Krishna himself is hearing Harikata. Who is Hari? There's two Hari. One is who is stealing Shmati Radhika's heart and mind, and one is who is stealing Krishna's heart and mind. This is described by Sri Goswami. Who is stealing the mind of Krishna? That is Hare. And who is stealing the mind of Hare? That is Hari. This is the pastime of the divine couple, Radha Krishna. So we are praying for their service. <laughs>